there was some like blood splattered on the on the grain bin. I haven't seen me this all day. The buck I thought was doing great. Sadly, the buck is not worth breeding. <laughs> Good afternoon, everybody. It's um, Thursday, Wednesday. It's Wednesday today. No, Thursday. I don't know what day it is. Um, Greg came down this morning and he said that there was some like blood splattered on the on the grain bins, and he could he found curry and he found the bunny. Um, but you haven't seen me this all day. So, um, I've searched for her everywhere. I've looked under all of our buildings. Um, we've looked through the woods. I've looked through, um, all the pastures. Um, our ducks weren't locked up last night. Nothing got the ducks. And the barn was closed up, so something would have had to come through the little cat door if it got her. Um, there's no one here, but I will show you. Um, so there's like, there's blood splattered there, and then there's a, there's a spot of blood right here. And I've, I've looked all over outside of the barn, and I can't find any blood anywhere outside of the barn. So I just don't really know what happened. Um, but yeah. So, <laughs> awful way to start a video. Sorry. I'm super emotional about it. <laughs> I'm down here. I'm going to milk. I'm going to milk sugar out and, um, and then head back up to the house. And I'll probably see you guys again tonight when I take care of everybody. I'll keep you guys updated on if we find out anything else. Um, like I said, the bunny is good. Um, Curry's good, but I like Mavis <laughs> the most, of course. That's okay. Um, but yeah, so I hope you guys enjoy, and, um, and I'll see you again tonight. Good evening, everybody. It is Thursday. Uh, yesterday was actually Wednesday. I didn't end up coming down to take care of the animals last night. I had Greg come and do it. I I had a hard time yesterday. I spent most of the day into the night crying. Uh, because of Mavis. I'm really upset about it. Uh, we still haven't seen her. We do still have curry around. The bunny is still hopping around. So I'm trying to be happy that we don't lose everybody. Anyways, I'm going to take care of these guys because they will not stop screaming. And then I'm going to touch on how the baby goats are doing while I'm milking Creeper. So everybody's not screaming at me.
So this is what creeper is producing every 12 hours. So we're getting, this is half a gallon. We're getting a gallon out of her a day. Love you. Food. There you go, girls. Come on, baby. Sure comes out. Good job. Oh, sugar. That's so nice. Yeah. So currently, this milk is just being fed to baby goats. So there's no need for me to use a teat dip um, to wash everything off before and after, or to sterilize buckets or things that we're putting milk in. It's just going straight to the kids. When we start producing milk for consumption for us, we will start doing a teat dip. Everything will be sterilized before we put milk in it. So you'll see our our routine change a little bit when that starts happening. I also I also wanted to touch on the baby goats a little bit. So Sugar, first one to kid is her. Her babies are doing excellent. A little doe and a little buck. They both have homes. Creeper, the one I just milked, she kitted just a couple days ago, Monday. Her doe is doing great. Um, she had a little bit of trouble standing to begin with, which happened. She has the longest legs ever. And the buck I thought was doing great. He did have a home. He was going to go to a nice dairy farm and become a buck for them. And we found out that he had an Tropian? Not sure how to pronounce that, but I will put the word below so you guys can uh, read it. It's basically an inverted eyelid, and he has it on his bottom eyelid. So his eyelashes constantly irritate his eye, which can lead to blindness if not fixed soon, and it can also be genetic. So sadly, the buck is not worth breeding. I let the person know that we will be weathering him. We will most likely keep him as a pet on the farm since he has no use. And we did have our vet come by to fix the problem. He took penicillin and injected it in the bottom eyelid so that the eyelid would kind of puff out and roll itself back out to normal. And he said the idea is that as the puffiness goes down, the goat will grow into the eyelid essentially so the eyelid won't roll back in. We do have penicillin and needles now, so we can do that for him if it continues to roll in. And the vet also said that where we have not dealt with an issue with it in the past, it was Creeper's fourth time kidding with no issues of it in the past, that it's most likely just a weird fluke and that we should be fine with the breeders that we have but to keep an eye on, on kids when they come out. It is common in goats and sheep, more common in sheep than it is in goats. Uh, certain species of dogs also get it. So yeah, just so he doesn't pass that genetic deformity onto any other goats possibly, we'll be weathering him and he will stay here as a pretty, pretty little boy for all of our girls to play with. <laughs> And I did milk sugar not too long ago, so she's not giving us as much milk. She's also a first freshener, so it's her first time. So she's not going to produce nearly as much as our girl creeper is. I do have to go out and feed the boys really quickly. I want to check on cinnamon really quickly. Cinnamon's our last do-do. She is due on Tuesday and she's starting to hollow out in the back a little bit. She's starting to bag up a little bit, slightly. 
I did feel her ligaments this morning and they're still quite solid. A little squishy, but they're definitely there. So I'm hoping that we still have a little bit more time. And the person that was originally going to get our buck out of Creeper will be looking for a buck out of Cinnamon instead. So we're hoping that Cinnamon has a boy for her and a girl for me. So I want a little doling from this year. Anyways, the boys are screaming at me. So I'm gonna go down, take care of them. And yeah, I hope you guys have a wonderful night. Rest of your week, weekend, whatever time it is that you see this. It's Saturday, it's evening time, or <laughs> noon time. Um, we, we came down here and we put the new babies in the garage with the older babies so they weren't in the house. They were there sleeping. Hi. And we set the camera back in here so we could watch the babies and we saw Mavis. <laughs> um, and I almost cried. <laughs> I'm so happy. She seemed fine.